Hello, I'm Clayton Stuffelbeam. I'm a PFR agronomist in Central Illinois with Bex Hybrids. We've got Aaron Carmer with us today. He's a PFR technician here in Atlanta, Indiana. Today we're going to spend time indexing a corn planter. I think it's a very critical step when we start looking at planter maintenance for the upcoming, upcoming planter seasons. So when a planter depth system works, or how it works, so on a John Deere row unit, I've got a equalizer, this is what I like to call it, or a mustache, that rides on the gauge wheel arms. Where my thumbs are right here, you'll see the divots. There's a lot of pressure there, and it's gonna wear every single row differently. The mustache that's inside that row that's keeping that depth is also going to wear differently from row to row. On a bigger planter, your outside rows are going to wear quicker than your center rows. So that's gonna change your planting depth. Okay, so for a John Deere Maximum five row unit, here's my depth equalizer or mustache. As I raise that gauge wheel up, it's going to make contact with that. It'll wear into the gauge wheel arm itself and the mustache. Every row is gonna be different. That's why it's so important to index the planter and get that planter zeroed out before you get to the field. Here's the equalizer on a Case IH 2000 series row unit. As I pull the gauge wheel up, it'll make contact up there. So the same goes with indexing, just getting everything zeroed out and equal and make sure these parts aren't too worn. NZ 4905 row unit, my depth mustache is right here and it rides inside the gauge wheel arm. As we get the depth, it's gonna pull tension on that mustache and it's going to slowly wear out the inside of this arm. So if I have my gauge wheels off, I want to ensure that that's not to the point where it's gonna wear clear through that arm. This is a white 8000 series row unit. As I pull up on that gauge wheel here is my depth mechanism. And then it goes through the holes on both gauge wheels so it'll wear the holes as it slowly wears. And you pull up there and find depth and wear on the front side of that. So just wanna make sure everything's in nice, good working manner and in good shape. So how do we index a planter? So the old way I used to do it is pretty time consuming and took a lot of work. I lift that planter up and we put blocks underneath the gauge wheels and we let that planter down and I measure from the floor to the bottom of that opener. Considering all the depth was the same on the planter and we come across rows that were different. As they're different, we would change our T-handles to get it right. So another way to do this is this contraption. I found a picture of this from Iowa State University. I wanna give credit to them for making this job easier. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take this contraption that you can easily make at home and we're gonna go, go to this white planter here and we're going to actually index this planter and get it consistent. So let's start that process now. So what I've done here is I've taken some two by fours and we've added some, some, some tape measure on the inside of what I'm gonna call a window here. I can see that opener through that window and I can get a measurement from row to row. We're gonna carry it around on a floor jack. We're gonna jack each row up individually. And as we jack it up, our goal is to get the planter the same consistently across the whole toolbar. We're not setting our planting depth in the shop. We're going to do that part in the field. We're just getting all rows equal. We don't have to throw parts at the planter. All we gotta do is change our depth handle. For, so for a John Deere or a Kinsey or a Case, we're gonna move that stop and then we're gonna mark each handle where it needs to be in relation to the next row. On this white planter, we're just gonna turn the adjustment handle and we're gonna get all rows equal. No marking needed to be done there. As I change my depth in the field, we're gonna move each row the same number of turns at the end of the day. The goal is to get the planter equal in the shop. So we're gonna start row number one here as our baseline, where do we sit? We're sitting at two and a half right now. Two and a half inches right now. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back rows. And we're gonna go row to row here and check this out. We're gonna jack it up to where we take pressure off the row. Okay, where are we at? We're sitting at about two and a quarter on that one. So we need to go deeper, yep. quarter inch. Yep. So that is how many turns in this planter? One. One turn. 
Now we're going to check it. Two and a half. Okay. Go to the next row. Right there. Like it? Yep. About two and a quarter on that one as well. So we need to deepen it up. Half, right? Yep. Half or one? one. Right on the money. Okay. Like it? Yep. It's like we're about two and three quarters on that one. So oh. shallow up. I'm gonna tilt it back here a little bit. Looks good. Uh, we're sitting about three inches on that one. Okay. Three inches, so we gotta go way shallow. Just two turns and a half. Uh, we need to go just a little bit deeper on that one actually. Take that little half turn back out. Half turn? Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, one more. Should have been. Okay. So thanks, Aaron. Hey, no problem. That's how we're going to index our planter. Aaron's done it the hard way of setting that planter down on blocks and then picking it back up again. A lot of getting in and out of the tractor. We'd have a couple hours doing this six row planter and we've got less than five minutes doing it. All rows are equal today. We go out to the field with full confidence, we're gonna be in good shape. This is a step that's easy to do. Make one of those contraptions in your shop and then utilize it, make some for your friends and your neighbors. This is the most important part of planter maintenance. You can also make a device like what's on the screen here, as complicated as you want to help you index your planter easier. This device has a spring-loaded indicator on the back side of that steel. As you set the planter down on that steel, it moves that indicator to a measurement that's on the back side of that steel, and then you just go from row to row and do it that way. At the end of the day, we want to place all of our rows at the same depth out in the field, so each row has the same chance of good, consistent emergence. Like I said, I think indexing your corn planter is one of the most important maintenance aspects you can do in the shop before you get out to the field. To so spend that time wisely, if you can, make one of them contraptions and use it. It's very quick and easy. I hope you index your planner before this growing season. Thanks for watching.